a matriculation ceremony held at a new auditorium saw a significant number of students officially joining the university community, including those enrolled in weekend postgraduate programs from city centers across the country. The Simon D. Dondombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies, SDD UBITS, received a total of 4,787 applicants. Out of that number, 4,253 were admitted by the university based on merit. Acting Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Emmanuel K. Dribli, acknowledged the need to work towards gender parity in admissions, especially considering the higher proportion of male students admitted. Additionally, he emphasized the university's commitment to increasing the number of postgraduate students to fulfill its mandate as a research intensive institution. Professor K. Dribli then highlighted the university's mandate to become an international acclaimed institution focused on applied research and practical oriented education. This act set up the university as a public tertiary institution with a mandate to become an internationally acclaimed applied research and practical oriented educational institution dedicated to the development of business and integrated development studies. In the country where the statistics show that there are many more young females than males, the university must reposition itself to work towards gender parity in admissions in the medium to long term. You also use the opportunity to speak about infrastructure challenges faced by the university, acknowledging the support received from the government and efforts to secure funding for ongoing projects. We are grateful to the government for the establishment of the SD Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. As a new university, we certainly have some infrastructure deficits, and that is to be expected. With the support of council, there are a number of measures that we are taking to accelerate the process of improving the infrastructure situation in the university for creating a more conducive and enabling environment for teaching and learning. Despite the university's achievements, some first students raised some concerns about infrastructure deficiencies, particularly regarding bad roads and lecture halls. In terms of our route from our hostel to pavilion, it's very bad. When you, before you get to the class, your legs are dirty and you, like, you feel already dirty and you are stressed out. I think they need to now start working on our roads and our halls for us. They however express optimism about the university's potential and encourage prospective students to apply. For the experience we have seen here, we would like to welcome you if you would like to join because this is also an institution where we can all come and learn and gain something in the future. We are great and we've started lectures going on smoothly and then we wish that at the end of the day we make the, the school proud and we ourselves. Paramount Chief of the Laura traditional area, Napo de Cabo the Third, who also doubles as a member of the Governor Council of the University, chair the function. On behalf of council, say that we are working tirelessly and seriously with government, with various stakeholders to address the infrastructure deficit that has unfortunately bedeviled this university. And we pray that despite these challenges, all students apply themselves to the people for whom they have been here so that you leave this place flying colors. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wow.